Benjamin, those uh, homes that I mentioned are right across 15 mile here, all suffering structural damage or damage to the ground they sit on. But all of the residents on Eberline Street are impacted by the sinkhole. Yeah, this just turned your, your life upside down. Lisa Gatler lives on Eberline Street, but for her and other residents here, the only access to their homes right now is by foot using a temporary walkway put in place today. Right, a knock on the door at 9 o'clock in the morning to uh, uh, your neighbor's home is sinking, uh, please move your cars, and then they came back and said we're cutting all utilities in a half an hour. Then they came back again and said you have 15 minutes to leave. Gas and water are cut off to these homes right now, so residents are not allowed to spend the night. Mike Racine returned this afternoon to gather up more of his belongings. We just moved here October 25th, yeah. So we've been here a couple of months and then this wonderful event happened. Everyone living on this cul-de-sac street of 22 homes has had to find someplace else to live temporarily. I'm staying with some uh, good friends from our church and, and I'm waiting for the insurance company because, you know, I don't want to overstay my welcome. Uh, waiting for the insurance company to call me back and say, yeah, we're going to cover it or you're on your own. At the entrance to the street, this home is buckled and crumbled, but still standing. There is also damage to the home next to it. At this neighboring home, the yard has sunken and a hole is formed in the driveway. The fear is more damage is possible, even likely. Clinton Township Supervisor Bob Cannon told us earlier today from what he's been told and what he's seen, he doesn't think anyone will ever again live in those three houses. Certainly that is difficult, one difficult aspect of this troubling story, a big mess, this sinkhole on 15 Mile here in Fraser. We're live tonight, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. All right, Dave, thank you. A frightening mess indeed. The sinkhole.